and gentlemen. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And I want to tell you something. I'm going to teach, try and teach you, help you learn about something that scientists and doctors have recently discovered. And that's about the microbiome. And the microbiome is those bacteria in you, on you. We used to think that uh, those were just waste products and that the bacteria in your gut just would be pooped out. But we now recognize that they are an important part of your health and disease. So I have three things to tell you. I'm going to teach you a little bit about the microbiome and where it originates. I'm going to help you understand how the microbiome, that is the bacteria in your intestine, affects your body, and that we can change that microbiome with probiotics and prebiotics. So what is the gut microbiome? You're completely outnumbered because your body is home to trillions of these bacteria. In fact, there is, for every human cell that you have, and there's a lot of those, you have 100 bacterial cells. So the number of bacteria inside you, on you, outnumbers your own body cells. That's your microbiome. And we're really focusing today on the microbiome in your gut. Yes, there's bacteria on your skin, and that's the skin microbiome. Yes, there's bacteria in other parts of you in your mouth, and that's your mouth back, uh, microbiome. But we want to focus on the microbiome in your gut. And it really has a huge impact on your health. On the flip side, you actually affect your microbiome because you eat, and you feed that microbiome, and you eat different things, and you can take f uh, probiotics, and you can take antibiotics, and you can influence those bacterial species inside your body. How did this microbiome come about? How so <clears throat> a number of years ago, scientists recognized that they could actually identify those bacteria, something called DNA sequencing. And they took 250 healthy people, and they sampled different spots, and they looked at the DNA, and they identified all of those bacteria. And that's when we learned that there's more bacteria on us, in us, than there are our own body cells. Now, you're sitting there thinking, oh, I got all these bacteria. Where did they come from? They came from you at birth. So when you were born, you had no bacteria inside your gastrointestinal tract. And then you became populated with bacteria within the first couple of minutes, within the first couple of days, by your parents and grandparents and everybody else around you who was kissing you and smothering you and with all that love and hugging you. You, you were getting all those bacteria. So you populated your gut. She gave me the five-minute warning. <laughs> with those bacteria from around you. And those bacteria then stayed in you. And they remain there like your fingerprint. You've got them, and they're never going to change. And you're different than everybody else around you. And so that's interesting. And that's what your microbiome is. But the new thing in science, and what you're learning here today, is that microbiome actually can affect your health. And I put up this mouse to remind me to tell you that we have learned that the microbiome inside your gut talks to your brain. And the microbiome inside your gut can tell your brain that your intestines aren't working. The microbiome inside your gut can actually, in at least these mice, depending upon what sort of microbiome we have, we can make those mice agitated, we can make those mice depressed, we can make those mice dumb, we can make, make those mice smart by changing the bacteria in their gut. Imagine if we could do that in humans. Also in mice, by changing the bacteria in their intestines, we can make them fat or thin. Imagine if we could do that in you. We do know in inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis that there are those individuals with those diseases have different microbiomes. And I've shown you a picture here, and you can just see by the colors. One bar is, has different colors than the other. Those different colors represent the different types of bacteria. And you can see that people with inflammatory bowel disease here on this side here have completely different bacteria. Now, why is that compared to the normal person? Isn't that interesting? And maybe we can actually change those bacteria and help try and treat some inflammatory bowel disease. So 
How can we change that, those intestinal bacteria? Well, we're learning that. We're learning that there's good bacteria and there's bad bacteria. We're learning that we can change the composition of the bacteria in your intestine. And in some cases, we can treat diseases. Now, I don't want you to take away the message that you're going to be skinny or fat by eating different bacteria. You're going to get smart or dumb by eating different bacteria. That's not the case yet. But I want to show you that this is where science and medicine is heading towards. The gut bacteria is an important um, organ that is really affecting our health. And we can currently change our gut bacteria a little bit by using probiotics. These are good bacteria, and they're found in fermented foods. They're found in, in, uh, in yogurts and cultured cheeses. And you can also buy at the bottom of this slide, by eating different foods, you can help those probiotics. You can help the good bacteria in your gut grow. So in the last couple of minutes, I've told you three things that I want you to remember. One, the microbiome is the bacteria in your gut. It's, at, it's there at birth, and it's stable like a fingerprint. And there's both good and bad bacteria. And those bacteria are talking to the rest of your body, to, immune, to the immune system and other parts of your body, and they are affecting your health. And you can possibly change that microbiome now and in the future with probiotics and other foods in order to try and improve your health and improve diseases. So the final word is this is an emerging science. Next year when you come to this meeting we'll be able to tell you more but this is what we're learning about the human microbiome and how it affects you every day. Thank you for your attention. I'll turn it over to Dr. Sir.